Now we'll create change password page. So open account folder and create an empty razor view named change password. Inside it, add using directive to models folder. Then set change password view model as model. Then create code block and set page title and layout to account layout. Then create account container. Inside it, create account box. Then create heading. Then create form and set action to change password. Then add anti-forgery token. Then create div tag and set validation summary to model only. Then add label and input for email. Also set input to read only. Then create label, input, and validation for new password. Then create label, input, and validation for confirm new password. Then create submit button. Then create anchor tag to redirect to email verification page. At bottom, add validation scripts partial. Now open account controller. Here, add HTTP get annotation. Then create public method of type I action result named change password and require string type parameter named username. Inside it, create if statement to check is username is null or empty. Inside it, use redirect to action method and redirect to email verification page. Then return view and pass new change password view model object to it and pass username to email property. Now run the app. Open email verification page. Enter the user email. Here you can see, username is passed through the URL and automatically added in the email field. Open account controller again. Here, add HTTP post annotation. Then create public task type method named change password and pass change password view model as model as parameter. Inside it, use if statement to check if model state is valid and negate this statement. Inside it, use model state dot add error method and pass empty string as key and error message as description. Then return view and pass model to it. Then create user variable. Initialize it with user manager dot find by name async method and pass model dot email to it. Then use if statement to check if user is null. Inside it, use model state dot add error method and pass error message inside it. Then return view and pass model to it. Then create result variable. Initialize it with user manager dot remove password async method and pass user to it. Then use if statement to check if result succeeded. Inside it, initialize result variable with user manager dot add password async method and pass user and model dot new password to it. Then use redirect to action method and return to login page. Then create else block. Inside it, use for reach loop to iterate over result dot errors. Inside it, use model state dot add error method and pass empty string and error dot description to it. Then return view and pass model to it. Now run the app. Open email verification page. Here, enter user email. Here, enter new password and confirm new password. And submit the form. We are redirected to login page which means password changed successfully. Now, try to login using new user password. We have successfully logged in which means our change password method is working perfectly. With this, change password page is complete.